This is a uh, Pinebook Pro. I'm recording a video here about Tau Boot, which is a new U boot for the SPI Flash. That is a pretty nice development for this hardware. First, let's boot this laptop from the SD card to install Tau Boot. I already had Tau Boot installed on this laptop, so I will just reinstall it over the existing one, and that's also why this already says Tau Boot. Here I will select the SD card to boot from, which contains the Tau Boot SPI installer. And this is the actual Tau Boot from the SD, where I can select the option to erase the SPI or flash it, which I will do here. This will take a second because writing to the SPI is pretty slow. And looks like it's done. Let's press the any key to reboot. Let's reboot into this new SPI bootloader. It will show the regular U-boot uh, locks while starting. But importantly, after that, it will give you the option to press escape or control C to enter a boot menu. And this will show you all the possible boot options on this hardware. And the most important ones of these are the first two, booting from SD or booting from MMC. If I boot from the MMC here, it will launch into the postmark address installation that is already on the internal storage of this laptop. So let's have a closer look at the U-boot environment here. I will have to shut down this laptop again. Now we are back in Tau Boot. It will quickly check all the hardware that's in the laptop. And I will press escape to go back to the boot menu. So the first option is SD. This is the default option. If the SD card in the laptop is bootable, then it will try to boot that first instead of the internal storage. This is opposite to the defaults of U-Boot. The EMMC store option is the internal storage. That's what I mainly use for the operating system. And this will allow you to boot EMMC while you still have a test images inserted in the SD slot. Which happens quite often for me. The next option is the NVMe. This is uh, the option for when you have an M2 SSD installed into the Pinebook Pro. And this will allow booting directly of that. With the USB option, it's possible to boot an operating system installer directly from a USB thumb drive. And this should work with generic UEFI uh, ARM64 operating system install images. And the PXC options that are here, the PXC and DHP are not very useful since this laptop does not have an external network connection. The last boot option here is SF0, which stands for the SPI Flash 0. And this is not the most useful option in this case since the Tau Boot itself is already booting from the SPI, but it allows chain loading it. The RISC and USB option is for when you have already booted into this menu and then insert a USB thumb drive. And then there is the U-Boot console. This allows you to get into the uh, recovery shell for U-Boot where you can do some internal commands. Let's move the camera. The shell is in the bottom corner. This will allow you to use any of the built-in U-Boot commands. This is not very well documented, but if something goes terribly wrong, this is great for booting something that's not in the list or booting it differently. With run menu CMD, it is possible to get back into the normal boot menu from the shell again. And there is a regular menu again. So that's my quick look at the Tau boot bootloader. Hopefully this can be shipped uh, from the factory for new Pinebook Pros, but at least it's possible to install this on existing Pinebook Pros with the SPI installer SD image that I will link down below. Um, thanks for watching.